Uh, Howard Pullman, uh, who is a Hampton resident, has agreed to serve a, uh, another term on our Board of Adjustment. Um, I believe this may be Howard's second term, or he may, he may even be in his third term at this point. But uh, um, he served well on that board. That board uh, basically meets as needed and uh, um, serves a great purpose for the community. And I appreciate Howard uh, stepping forward to do it again because it's hard to find people to fill these boards. of approval of a reappointment of Tom Tenders to the Planning and Zoning Commission with a term expiring December 31st, 2017. Yep. Uh, this would be Tom's second term um, if appointed, and uh, Tom served well. Once again, the Planning and Zoning Commission um, meets basically as needed. Um, Tom's served well and uh, has agreed, and once again, we thank him for his service. Um, like I said, it's hard to fill these boards and commissions, and um, it's great when people step forward and, and then still continue even once they've served one term. So it's very much appreciated. Okay. Any questions for Doug on this reappointment? Okay, I entertain a motion. I so we reappoint Tom to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Second. A motion by Jim and a second by Steve to reappoint Tom Tickets to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Any discussion? All in favor of the reappointment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next is approval of claims recommended by Finance Committee in the amount of $103,121.45. Is there a motion to approve the claims? I would so move. Motion by Dick. Is there a second? Second. Second by Diane. Any further discussion? All in favor of approval of the claims, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Next on the agenda is uh, consideration of approval of adoption of ordinances. Uh, first is ordinance number 336. This is the second reading. Uh, let uh, City Manager Duff read. Um, this, uh, this is the tree ordinance, and uh, I guess I would just, uh, before we get into this one, the next two ordinances, the tree ordinance and then also the, the update to the flood management uh, ordinance. Doug and I would recommend that you consider waiving the third reading of these two and uh, uh, approving them tonight. Um, maybe not so critical with the tree ordinance, but uh, the ordinance number 337 related to the floodplain management. There's some uh, December 28th or December 18th deadline that uh, we're looking at, and uh, we. Uh, the DNR gives this deadline that we have to have the ordinance approved by and uh, on the books and submitted to them, or we could risk uh, not being approved or for any grants, state or federal grants, um, so of any sort, not just FEMA related. So, back to ordinance number 336. Um, this is second reading. It's an ordinance amending Chapter 151 of the Hampton Municipal Code of 2009 by route revising purpose and creating additional definitions and regulations for the safe and educated land stewardship practice and the preservation of planting trees. And I will uh, refrain from reading that entire ordinance unless someone um, wants me to. Doug, do you have any comments? Okay. Anybody else? I, I guess I've, I've had comments and actually I'm serving on that board, and I've had uh, comments from uh, several citizens uh, uh, voicing um, their support of at least having the option to be able to go into plant trees uh, in this city parking area. So I think there is uh, support for for it in the community. Right. Um, Mr. Entertain a motion then at this time. If there's no other questions. We'll do it for the second reading. 
motion by Craig to approve the second reading. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Motion by Craig and a second by Steve to approve the second reading. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll go forward with a roll call vote. Arms? Aye. Lukensmeyer? Aye. Eckhart? Aye. Davies? Aye. Hogback? Aye. Crowley? Aye. On the agenda is ordinance number 337. This is an ordinance amending chapter 167, zoning regulations, floodplain management of the Hampton Municipal Code of 2009 by repealing certain sections, replacing with new section in lieu thereof, and amending certain sections. And again, as uh, Ron mentioned, this is in, uh, due in large part to uh, FEMA's redrawing of the floodplain maps. So it's kind of something we're being forced to do. Ron, do you have any additional comment? No, uh, you're correct. It's something that the, the federal government, the state government is requiring us to do, um, basically leaving us uh, without any other options if we want to participate in any floodplain uh, FEMA reimbursements in the future for catastrophes or for any federal grants whatsoever. So. Okay. Is there any other questions? I'll wait for a motion to second. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, do we have a motion? And again, I would recommend we uh, waive the third reading uh, for this tonight. But up to you guys. I would make such a motion that we waive the third reading and approve this uh, ordinance uh, on the second reading. <coughs> It's a motion by Dick that the rule that an ordinance must be considered and voted on at two meetings prior to the meeting and final action or if published in summary be considered and voted on at one meeting prior to the meeting of final action be dispensed with final reading and action to be carried out at this regular session of the City Council. Do you reaffirm that motion? Okay. Is there a second? Second. Motion by Dick and a second by Val. Is there any discussion? Here, it just seems odd to me that we're required to pass this by FEMA. We're required to hold a public hearing because it's an ordinance. And now we're required to pass it in two readings because of their deadlines. It doesn't make sense. I mean, what leverage do you have? What happens if we don't pass it and don't get the five votes to pass it? You know, I understand yep. what the consequences yep. are, but I, I just don't like the way that this is handled. I would agree uh, very strongly. Um, as Ron mentioned, the only you know, recourse we could have you know, would be to not pass it, and that leaves open the door for, uh, as my understanding, that we'd be left out in the cold for any... And I'm not willing to forsake right. that for the city. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, we've got federal grant money out there for the uh, you know, water treatment plant and, and all those, uh, you know, several other grants, so obviously that's not really an option. Uh, so our options, I guess, are none. So. And normally I'm not in favor of waiving the readings because I think it's important to have the public hear their say and to be heard. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're handcuffed. Right. We don't have any other options as I see it. I appreciate your sentiment, Craig. Any, any further discussion? Doug, uh, the timeline that we're on on this, uh, it's, an, it's an absolute must uh, that we um, waive the second reading, or the third reading, I should say. This is a, a December 18th uh, deadline. That's cut and dry. Um, if if it held off, it would be to the twelfth of, of or excuse me, twelfth.